from a president under pressure, signs of compromise and concession. Francois Bozizet said he was prepared to share power with the rebels and he would not stand for re-election in 2016. We will surely be able to put in place a national unity government to manage this country, which has suffered so much. The three-week rebel offensive may be taking its toll on the president. It has brought the capital, Bangui, to a nervous standstill. On Saturday, the government imposed a curfew for the first time. It was supported by some of Bangui's residents. The government's curfew is not all bad. It will allow the government to control the country because it is very unsafe at the moment. But rebel fighters from the Salika Alliance keep advancing. On Saturday, they took the town of Cebut, 150 kilometers from the capital. And an attempt by government troops to retake the strategically important town of Bambari failed. They have now fallen back to Damara, the last major town between the capital and the rebel front line. The chairman of the African Union, Thomas Yahi Boni, arrived in Bongi on Sunday urging an end to the fighting and to prepare the way for peace talks. President Bozizé said he is willing to attend without conditions. A rebel spokesman sounded more cautious, saying he took note of the president's latest offer, but the rebels did not want to join the government. Earlier, they refused to rule out an advance on the capital and said President Bozizé's removal would be central to any talks.